I've said it before on this show, but I don't really see the point of drop-top supercars. On the one hand, you might want performance, but on the other hand, you might want that whole wind of the hair thing. But why would you want the wind in the hair thing and the turbulence and the noise while doing 250 kilometers an hour? It's beyond me. But of course, for every rule, there is the exception. And this is one of them, the Audi R8 Spider. The hardtop R8 is one of our favorite cars here at RPM, and while chopping off the roof usually does a lot to damage the impact of a car, not to mention its chassis stiffness, the fabric roof installed on this convertible looks every bit as good as the original. And it doesn't really make a difference if the roof is stretched out of the cockpit or stashed away in the boot, this Spider always looks good. The styling changes have all got to do with the canopy area. So in the front, the A-pillar has now been finished in satin chrome, and at the rear, you no longer get a glass engine cover through which you can perv the V10. Instead, you get a plastic boot lid with this sort of dragon back design. Sort of dragon back, with a bit of creative license. The face is the same, the doors are the same, and that low, wide rear view with the rugby ball sized exhaust pipes is the same. It is a brutal looking thing, and at the same time has a complete sexiness about it. I would draw an analogy to female bodybuilders here, but that would give you the wrong idea. It just oozes supercar desirability. It's the kind of thing that years from now, young kids will remember having a poster of on their wall. There's just one drawback to this whole convertible setup. Ordinarily at this point we'd show you a few pictures of the engine and spew out some figures, but unfortunately that's all we get to see. One of the highlights of the hardtop was being able to see that V10, and in that respect the spider loses just a little bit of drama. Fortunately though, while you may not be able to see it, the V10 remains the same. A 5.2 litre unit with 386 kilowatts and 530 newton meters. 0 to 100 time is an astonishing 4.1 seconds, and the top speed is not governed to 250 kilometers an hour. Given enough road and a brave enough pilot, the Spider will hit 313. It is staggeringly powerful, this car. The shove that it produces pins you back with the force of the space shuttle, and even if the sensation didn't automatically bring a smile to your face, the skin on your face gets pushed to the side of your head, and your teeth just can't help making an appearance. <laughs> You know, despite the quattro and the sport mode and the magneto operable push of a button stiffened suspension, the R8 is as user friendly as you like. It's easy to get into and out of, it's easy to maneuver around tight spaces. In fact, you can even get the R-Tronic gearbox that changes gears for you. Although, you probably shouldn't. No, the R-Tronic is not Audi's finest achievement. It's not completely useless, but it does require a definite technique, and it kind of slows the action down. When you're around town and you want to change gear, you need to come off the gas just slightly, hit the pedal, then squeeze the accelerator again. Increase your speed, and you need to increase the deliberateness of the action. Come off the gas completely, hit the pedal, then stomp on the gas again. I found myself ignoring the automatic mode completely because trying to second guess this car's gear changes just ends up with all kinds of annoying waiting for the system to do its thing. But at least you'll be comfortable during the awkward silence that is the Artronic automatic gear change. This interior is built and finished off superbly well and it's as easy to get comfortable in here as it is in a family car. Okay, the MMI is old and there are some bits from a TT, but there is one piece of genius in here. And it's not the folding roof. It is this button. With this button, the magic of the R8 Spider becomes even more apparent without the need to remove the roof and risk cancer-inducing sunburn or exposure to every traffic light tout in town. With this button, you can really enjoy what sets this car apart from the others. Yes, you get cars with similar power and steering that's just as sharp. You get cars with chassis that are just as well-tuned, even if there isn't a roof. In fact, you even get cars with grip that rivals Quattro. But what makes this spider so special is that no matter where the needle is in the rev range, you have this epic, epic, epic 
soundtrack. <laughs> The Drop Top R8 is as special a car as you're ever likely to find. With its 70-30 rear bias torque split, it's happy to let the tail get loose and make you feel like you're part of an amazing driving experience. The steering is quick and accurate, and the car's responses to every driver input, besides the gear changes, is almost instantaneous. And it's as easy to use in traffic as it is on a racetrack. All of that means that unlike some other supercars, you don't need to wait for a special occasion to enjoy your 2.2 million rand investment. Just starting this car is a special occasion. The R8 Spider is an incredible all-round achievement, and if you're playing in these leagues, I seriously suggest you consider adding one to your garage. But for the love of all things driving, get the manual gearbox. A 5.2-litre V10 powering a two-door sports car has to translate into awesome performance, and even that's an understatement in this case. Driving topless adds the thrill of the best soundtrack in the business to a great chassis and quattro traction. Pity the clunky Artronic gearbox gets in the way of automotive heaven.